Hi. So the question is, a girl walks along a straight path to drop a letter in the letter box and uh, comes back to her initial position. Her displacement time graph is shown. We have to plot a velocity time graph for the same motion. So uh, let's highlight uh, the important part of the question. It's given that uh, the girl is moving in a straight path and then she goes to a point and then comes back to her initial position right so displacement time graph is given we have to plot velocity time graph velocity time graph let's see let's try to understand how this motion is taking place so let's say this is his her initial point and then he move she moves to letterbox so let me draw a straight line first so she is moving along a straight line let's say this is a letter box letter box okay and then she comes in this direction first and then goes back back to the same point a so the displacement time graph is given so clearly she is uh, moving along a straight path and uh, the displacement hence is increasing with time so if you see there is a straight line displacement time graph that means what uh, this is a case of uniform motion why because the slope is always constant so if you see the slope of the graph is constant that means it is a uniform motion uniform motion means so when slope of st graph st graph is displacement time graph is equal to constant then the velocity is uniform uniform okay so uniform velocity will be having so how do we now let's let's have a corresponding velocity time graph so let's say this is time again in seconds and this is velocity meter per second okay so if you see so let's find out the velocity in this so if you see from the graph velocity in ongoing motion ongoing motion how much is that is nothing but slope of s t graph so from the graph we can find out the slope how, how to find out the slope s2 minus s1 by t2 minus t1 that is nothing but delta s upon delta t in this case if you see if you take point at uh, initial point as o initial point as the uh, as uh, at the origin and the final point here so what is the displacement covered clearly 100 meters isn't it so 100 meters minus 0 by 50 seconds minus 0 that means 100 upon 50 that is 2 meter per second okay so on the ongoing journey the velocity v1 is velocity v1 is 2 meters per second so let's say in this case this is 0 this is 1 and then this is 2 and let's say this is 50 and this is 100 so 50 100 1 2 so if you see the velocity time graph should look like this Why? because it's constant till 50 seconds isn't it so this is the velocity time graph the ongoing journey now while this girl is coming back what's happening the displacement is reducing back to zero that means what now she has changed the direction that means if you see she was going from in this case let's say from west to east now she is going east to west so the velocity's direction will change right so return journey in case of return journey if you see 
direction of velocity has changed so what will be the impact of the direction change on the velocity it will have a negative sign now so hence if if ongoing velocity was positive then the return journey velocity would be return journey velocity would be negative isn't it now let's also calculate the value in this case v2 again is nothing but n3 okay so v2 is s2 s3 sorry minus s2 by t3 minus t2 which is nothing but if you see s3 is 0 and then s2 was 100 and then t3 t is 100 and this was 50 so i get minus 100 upon 50 is equal to minus 2 meter per second okay let's plot this this will be my velocity time graph for this case.